so you've decided you want to scan all of your old pictures. Now you have to figure out what to do next. Here are some things you should be thinking about as we count down the top five mistakes to avoid when scanning your old photos to digital format. Mistake number five, choosing the wrong resolution. One of the most common mistakes people make is choosing the right resolution to scan their photos at. Usually you want to scan them at 300 dpi. This will allow you to do high quality 8x10 prints. And the only reason to go bigger or at a higher DPI is if you want to print larger photos. Uh, keep in mind, however, that if you double the resolution from 300 to say 600 DPI, you quadruple the amount of time it takes to do each scan. So if you're doing them yourself, it becomes a lot more painstaking. And if you're using a service provider, you might end up paying twice as much or more. Uh, so in general, it's best to keep, keep the resolution at 300 DPI. Mistake number four, putting photos back into their albums when it's better not to. One of the most common questions you hear when digitizing your photos is whether or not you should put them back into their album. And the answer is, it depends. If it's a unique album, like a wedding album or a bar mitzvah album, then you're going to want to put them back into the album to preserve their original context. Uh, if the album is one of the more inexpensive varieties with, say, the adhesive backing, then the best option is probably not to put them back into the album as the adhesive backing can damage the photos and usually they, they just don't stick when you try to replace them. One option is to use a photo archive box which is available at many local retailers. Uh, the, the benefit of doing this is that it can protect your precious photographs as well as take up less space when storing them in your home. Mistake number three, not using a photo organizing application. Another thing you want to think about is how you're going to organize the digital files. Uh, you could just put them in the My Photos or My Pictures folder on your computer and look at them that way, but if you do that, you're really missing out on some of the more advanced photo programs that are out there. On the PC, you can go to programs like Google's Picasa or Adobe's Elements. On the Mac, there's iPhoto, which is probably the most popular. And the advantage of using these programs is it makes it easier to organize, sort through, and browse your photos. You can also play with more advanced features such as geotagging your photos based on the location that they were taken. Mistake number two, not backing up your photos. Your photos are very valuable family assets, and one of the most important things you want to think about is how to protect and store them. There's a general rule of thumb. If the digital files don't exist in three places, then they don't exist at all. So there's a few things you need to do. Make sure that there's a copy stored on your home computer. Make sure that you store a copy on a device such as a USB hard drive or home media server. You should also look into storing your files at an off-site location, such as one of the online services that are available today. There's a lot of them out there, so take a look online and see what works best for you. And finally, mistake number one, not trying out the latest photo gadgets and experiences. There's a lot of photo gadgets out there now to really bring your pictures to light. Uh, you can load the photos onto your iPhone or other mobile device, uh, stream them to your Apple TV or Nintendo Wii, or even put them into a digital picture frame. There's lots of options. Now you know what you need to do with your old photos and photo albums. The question is, what's the easiest and most affordable way to do all this? The answer is digitize my life. To find out just how easy and affordable it can be, visit www.digitizemylife.net.